How are you guys doing? So, my hair is really weird looking because I just got out of the shower. Anyways, um, today is May 23rd and I just got a package. Now, I just want to say a big thank you to Muscle Insider Canada for sending me this package. Um, I won a contest that they had supplements going on. I don't remember 100% what the supplements are, but I'm going to show you guys here in a sec. I'm just going to open it up and pretty much show you guys exactly what I won. Okay guys, so we got three supplements here. That's the, okay, this we got a post-workout supplement from Progressive Sport. We also got here another one for, these are all from Progressive Sport. Um, this is a pre-workout before your workout. And we got ourselves here a intro workout. So this is during the workout, so pretty much like BCAs. Also from Progressive Sport. So I want to thank Muscle Insider and everyone else who participated and won, you know, and I think that's awesome. You know, I am in contest prep, so those are definitely going to help. If you guys haven't seen already, these are my posing trunks. I posted a second video today. Reason being is, oh, my hair is a mess. Reason being is I am three days out. Now, I wanted to be able to explain myself and be able to show you guys my physique, which I'm probably going to be doing for the next couple days here. But, that being said, um, for the second uh, second day out, one day out, and show day, uh, I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube. Just a couple days, allowing me to, to edit everything, making sure it's perfect, spot on, before I upload it. Um, because I have a lot to focus on for this competition when you're two days out, you know I want to vlog and I am gonna vlog like I'm, I'm gonna record everything keep that in mind It's just a matter of putting those videos onto YouTube. I'm gonna wait probably till the Sunday to start uploading the second day uh, Then the, the one day out and then show day so keep that in mind um, That's what I plan on doing doesn't necessarily mean it'll be that way It might be actually sooner than Sunday. We'll have to see because if I have time on Saturday to edit, I probably will. So uh, keep that in mind um, when when these next videos are coming up. But today is two videos, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Anyways, those are my shorts. Um, it's oh, Do I look tired? Yeah. I just woke up anyway, so i got to get some water. Um, I'm going to make some eggs, coffee. I'm doing the same thing right now, guys. I'm not changing my meals right now. I'm not doing that at all. Um... Today, the only difference is there's going to be no more protein shakes. I think today or tomorrow. Today. Today and tomorrow. All the way to the end of show day. No more protein shakes. So, um, there's still going to be almond milk, but no more protein shakes. I feel like the protein was getting too high now. So, we're going to... Mm, I don't know. It looks pretty good. I might have one protein shake today, maybe, and then not Thursday for sure. Um, but other than that, because um, when you're carving up, you don't have to keep the protein as high. So, you could use a lot of those calories from carbohydrates. And I still got to make those. I still got to get sweet potatoes. Still got lots to do, guys. But, you know, I definitely, I'm definitely almost done this portion of the journey. And the next portion will start right after the competition. So, anyways, let's look at one thing at a time, one step at a time. Let's take one step at a time. And uh, first things first, let's make some breakfast. Okay, once again, I'm going to do this over if you haven't watched my other videos. Four eggs with some salt. I'm not altering the salt, just having salt with my eggs and my mixed veggies. Um, tomorrow, I'm cutting out the salt. Tomorrow is Thursday, yes. Okay, and I got here two cups of coffee in a bowl because I cannot find my other bowl with a little like hook on the end. So we had we to like hold it like this, even that's like really hot, but I was able to get both of these guys up at the same time. So, so far, so good. We got ourselves. 800 milliliters of water, milliliters, yes, yeah, milliliters, and that's about it for breakfast. Then I'll see you guys for my next meal. So I just got back from shopping, picking up my mom. We went to Save On Foods, got ourselves or got myself, I guess, uh, six sweet potatoes, like big sweet potatoes. I'll be showing you guys later. I probably will be cooking them today just to get that done with after I'm done homework and after I'm done a couple other things here. Um, so I'm always constantly busy, 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 but I'm trying to pump out these videos every single day. Now, <laughs> what I'm doing differently today than I did yesterday uh, with the sodium is I'm just going to have sodium with my eggs, meaning salt. Uh, I'm not going to be including salt with my vegetables, which I have been doing almost every single day now. So that's what I'm going to be cutting out. 
uh, now on the vegetables. Tomorrow I will be completely cutting out sodium, possibly, because meat has sodium in it and you guys gotta realize that other foods have sodium in it. So in a way, you're still getting sodium. Um, I might add it, I'll have to see, I'll have to see how I look. But despite that, my goal now, goal, I guess what I'm gonna be doing now is no sodium, same meals tomorrow, but no sodium. So no salt's gonna be added to anything. Um, still gonna be three chicken breasts, mixed veggies, and the Friday is still gonna be mixed veggies with meat, but it's not gonna be a crazy amount of meat. The protein intake is gonna be very low, um, and it's more so gonna be focused on carbohydrate um, increased, uh, carbohydrate, carb loading. Uh, I'm gonna be carb loading on sweet potatoes, as I will be showing you that I'll be cooking today. Um, I will be carb loading on rice cakes, and we're trying to make it simple so you don't spill over, and as well, my body is used to those foods, so I will not be being getting bloated. Uh, I might be going to shop for like Gatorade or um, some extra stuff, turn on that light again, extra stuff during like show day uh, to make myself like peak, spike my insulin, whatever else it may be. But other than that, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna show you guys quickly right here my meal. So, I did not mean to zoom in, sorry about that guys, it's really shaky. Okay, we got here one chicken breast. What I do is I cut it up now with scissors, clean scissors, trust me. Uh, and we got here mixed veggies. I took roughly about 550 grams of mixed veggies, split them into three. So let's just say that's about 200, almost 200 um, of mixed vegetables, California style. So that's like broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. I think so, yeah. Uh, and that chicken is just typical grilled, ready to go, no additives, no extra, and that's going to be the meal for the next, this meal and the next two meals. Um, I'm thinking of having one small protein shake, really small protein shake right after my workout. Other than that, tomorrow's no protein shakes, Friday's no protein shakes, uh, the Saturday's no protein shakes, and a lot of BCAs. I've been having lots of BCAs recently. I'm trying to maintain as much muscle as I can. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, that's pretty much what I'm eating and what I'm doing. So I'll check back with you guys in a sec here. So the meal that we're having here are, are I don't know, I can't even talk. The meal that we're having after the workout is a protein shake, half, roughly about half a scoop with about two cups of almond milk. So two cups of almond milk would be 60 calories. Half a protein powder would be about 80 calories. So good 150 calories right here. Here we got a good, I'd say, that's a hundred gram, uh, let's give it, I can't even say, I, I think a hundred calories, I'll have to check, oh no, this would be 90 calories, because a cup of, of mixed berries would be 90 calories, so this 90 calories, this one's a hundred, did I say 160, oh, I'm so carb depleted, it was 60 plus 80, that's 130, 100, no, 140, that's, 90. that's about 220 calories right here, for after my workout. <laughs> Roughly, okay. That's what I'm having for after the workout. Uh, later on, I'm gonna be having my last meal of the day, and I'll have some rice cakes just before I go to bed to kind of slowly, slowly start the carb loading. Um, I'll be doing the same tomorrow on the Thursday, and the Friday I'll start. You know, the majority of the carb loading will be then. Okay, guys. So I finished my last meal. It's about 10:33 p.m. This is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna have before I go to bed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry, I'm being really quiet right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic. Bro. Hey guys, so just watching some Boruto. That's Naruto's son. I watch some anime, watch different types, uh, watch other shows obviously too, like Survivor and stuff like that. Haven't been watching shows much recently just due to me being very busy. Everything's going as planned though, so that's the main thing. Anyways, I just had some breakfast. I had four eggs, no salt, no sodium today. Today we're not adding any salt to anything. So, um, and to keep in mind, chicken already has lots of sodium. Other, a lot of foods already have lots of sodium. So, you know, if you don't have sodium, you're still going to have sodium in your diet or whatever it is you eat. Um, and then I got two cups of coffee, which normally I don't do this, but I'm going to have coffee every single morning. Um, all the way even to the show day. Um, show day would be like just one cup. Uh, probably just with one cup just mixed with instant coffee. 
and that'll be it just to kind of deplete my water completely i'm not gonna drink really much water at all on show day it'll be sips of water but right after the show like literally right after the show i have to drink tons of water because you got to stay hydrated it's really unhealthy to stay dehydrated for a long period of, or for a certain amount of time um short period you know you work around that but that's why i gotta hydrate right away after um, i'm not too sure just yet what i'm gonna eat afterwards um I have to eat something somewhat healthy, just keep me full for the drive back. I have to drive three hours right after the show. Uh, other than that, when I come back on the Sunday, I, I think I already know what I want to make. And I'll explain to you guys later on what that's going to be. Okay, so we don't got too much time right now because i got to go somewhere soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the chicken right now. We're going to make three, no, we're going to make six uh, pieces of chicken. Oh, that's pretty packed in there. How am I going to find this chicken? Let me get that guy out of here. I don't know what I'm going to put it right there. Let's see. Here is my chicken. i to get this guy out too. Put this guy up there. Why is there bread? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to get six pieces of chicken breast. We're going to defrost. Defrost. Defreeze them. Putting them on this guy. And cook them. And then after that, we're going to go get some asparagus, actually, at this Italian market close by my house. Going to make things a little different because they say, they say, I don't have this experience, so I'm testing this out. Um, with asparagus, it's going to tighten your skin up, so I'm hoping that's what's going to, what, what it's going to do. So I'm going to have asparagus for today. See how that works out. See how, it, you know, it, it works with my body. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying that it will work, but we'll have to see. Right now, first off, chicken has to be done. Now that we got the chicken to defreeze, we're gonna be making our way over here to these sweet potatoes. This is gonna be 2,200 grams of sweet potatoes. We're gonna have 1,000 grams on the Friday. Uh, on the Saturday, maybe 800. It's gonna be between 500 to 800, depending on how my body is feeling and looking. Tonight, we'll be having 200 grams of sweet potatoes, and also after the show, we'll be having another 200 grams. So, you know, divide that the way you want to but cooking about 200 and sorry 2200 uh, grams of sweet potatoes okay so we got a little bit here cut up this is gonna be for the I believe Friday but we'll be figuring this out like we're gonna be measuring everything before we even you know put into the containers and whatnot I'm gonna be cooking these two guys together this guy's gonna be cooked by himself because it's a big guy right there anyways you got some garbage over there. Got that cut up. Now the chicken just finished defrosting. Still a little frozen, but we're gonna go throw it on that guy. Finally finished cutting up here all our sweet potatoes. Uh, we're gonna be headed our way to get some asparagus soon here. We gotta wait till this chicken is done though. So that's gonna be three chicken breasts. We're gonna have three today, two tomorrow, and one in the morning on Saturday. So that's gonna be about it for now, I guess. I mean, I don't know what else I need to do. Probably clean up a little bit, but here's the kitty. Just sleeping, sleeping, sleeping little cat. It's like, get away from me, I'm trying to sleep. Okay, well, that's about it. And I'll check in with you guys in a sec here.
So I just got home. I got the asparagus. So we're cooking here asparagus for today. I don't know how much that is. I just got one of these things. Let's see here. Got like a little packet like this. I don't know how much you could really say that is. Anyways, I'm cooking. I'm cooking currently one of them. Uh, put some butter spray as I normally do. It's actually just canola oil, but butter like flavored. I want to show you guys a little bit. Like I saw, look, like I feel really dry right now. Um, even my lips. Like I feel like I want. I'm thirsty, and I don't want to over drink water because I'm doing three bottles right now. And that's gonna be 800 milliliters each, roughly about two liters. So let's see the conditioning. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it as well on camera. But, I think I look really good right now. Uh, if it wasn't on camera, I think it would be a little bit better. Because sometimes the camera shows a little bit of a fade in the skin. Making me look somewhat flat. Like, I am flat right now because I didn't carb up or anything. But, you see my chest already striations and everything coming in slowly. Um, but tonight, tonight I'm going to be carbing up. I, look, I don't know why it looks so weird. Okay, that's a little bit better lighting. Uh, yeah, tonight I'm going to be carving up. I'm going to be having 200 grams of sweet potato, as I said earlier. And this is the first time I actually cooked asparagus. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, so we got the sweet potatoes cooking right now. Uh, this meal is for Saturday. That's why I put an S on it. This is going to be the first meal. Um, this is going to be right after breakfast. Then we got here Friday, four meals. The first two meals are going to have chicken. This one will have chicken as well. Um, I might not be eating it depending on how I'm feeling that day, but other than that, these are the four meals for Friday. These two have sweet potatoes, these two have sweet potatoes and chicken. Um, other than that, I still got to cook the asparagus. And after that, I think that's about it. I have to get a couple things for show day, but other than that, that's going to be the meal prep. So I just had a meal here. I had some... What is that called? Oh, I had a cucumber and I had a bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. And I have here about almost two cups to let's say two cups of almond milk. This is gonna reach you know a good amount of calcium that I need for my daily intake. Uh, I might be having a cup tomorrow depending on how I'm feeling. But with water intake, I'm only having three, three of those guys for today. Tomorrow it's gonna be down to two. And Saturday, Saturday, yeah, Saturday the show. Saturday, I'm so carpet leaving it. Saturday is going to be one of those bottles. Um, I'm going to be having coffee every single morning, as usual. It helps me deplete water that I, in a way, don't necessarily need. Um, other than that, I guess I'll be go just going through this with you guys. Um, I'll be showing you guys when I eat my asparagus, because I have to cook that at 5 o'clock. I have to actually cook it sooner, maybe. Um, the asparagus... After, yeah, I'll have asparagus. What I've been doing is, I actually already had one meal, but I want to show you guys the next one. It's going to be asparagus chicken, and then asparagus chicken for the third meal today. And then the last, like, fourth, the last meal is going to be um, sweet potato fries. A uh, decent amount, I'd say a good 200 grams. And then tomorrow morning, we are going to have some oats. So we're going to change it up a little bit, but not too, too much. Oats, um, see how it reacts with my body. Uh, I'm going to have probably 60 grams, it's going to be either 20 or 40 grams of carbs, so we'll have to see. I might taper that down a little bit actually, quite a bit. Um, but some people go up to like 500 grams of carb a day, carbs like just before show day and I feel like that's too much. So for me, it's, I'd rather look flat but shredded on stage than bloated or spilling over kind of thing. So with sweet potatoes, no, like even if you eat a thousand sweet potato, a thousand grams of sweet potatoes, that's only maybe 150 grams of carbs. It's really not much at all. So, and that's what I want to do for the entire day tomorrow. Eat roughly about a thousand uh, tomorrow. Tonight it's gonna be just 200 grams, maybe less. Most likely 200. Um, and then Saturday morning it's gonna be roughly I'd say about 400. Um, because, I mean, by then you don't want to eat too much. Uh, you don't want to have too much food in your stomach when you're on stage flexing. So, because it will push out your abs and you will see it. And I've seen it in past videos I've done. Um, I, I know I sound really, like, emotionless a little bit. And my hair is a little, little funny looking. Um, but it's because, like, what I'm taking in right now, I'm trying to record as much as I can. And still 
give you guys everything and still do this dye and still go through this process and it's normal to feel this way <clears throat> during this time um, but it's just a matter of fighting through it to be honest I'm getting a couple cravings and I did not eat like anything today so I'm gonna have one rice cake with peanut butter not too too much but with some peanut butter and I might have one more tonight but tonight I'm gonna be a little bit happier because I get sweet potato fries just a little bit not too much but I get some sweet potato fries okay guys I made a recording earlier apparently did not record so as I was saying I'm doing some homework right now just study and whatnot um, I'm at my sister's soccer game but I'm not gonna be watching it because I do need to study um, test is coming up. I got myself water just in case I ate one rice cake as you guys saw earlier um, I'm just really like not down but feel really weak really like almost too relaxed and I think you guys could tell the way I'm talking this entire vlog, but The thing is this is prep. This is what you go through. This is what I enjoy I actually enjoy going through prep and not because it's like because it's tough or it's hard I just I enjoy the mental the mental ability to keep a consistent like pace like knowing when things get hard knowing when things get tough and the fact that you're mentally able to get past that and i look back and i'm like wow i was i i i did that me i it's crazy you know um and i think everyone one day should go through prep not because they want to compete not because they want to get really big transformation just to show just show yourself that you could do this you could do whatever you put your mind to and if you give up that will also teach you a lesson like why did I give up why did I do that now it's it's a great learning process for anyone for any gender any age maybe not so under 18 but really any age to be honest because you learn a lot about yourself when it comes to dieting when it comes to working out when it comes to mental ability mental stability those are key and I don't even know how I'm thinking this well right now without these carbs but really guys experience a prep um, it doesn't have to be for a competition, but experience of prep, I recommend it a hundred percent. Feeling really vascular right now. As you guys can kind of tell. Honestly, this is the best I've ever been. Like, look, like, on it. What the heck? out um i'll check in with you guys at one day out that's gonna be tomorrow's video um i hope you guys enjoyed this one i carved up a little bit i had some sweet potatoes so i'm feeling a lot better than i did during the day and from here on we're gonna be adding some more and more and more i'm looking a little flat but my conditioning is on point so that being said i hope you guys have a good night please leave a like below comment, subscribe and